Now that the two views in the controller have been set up, I now have something that I can use the form validation library with. Here's the control flow at a high level. First, I'll load the form validation library. Then, I'll set the validation rules for each form element. When that's complete, I'll execute the validator to see if it passed or not. With that answer, the application can decide what to do based on validation success. I'm going to get started by returning to the IDE. I'll open the magazine controller and navigate to right before the view is displayed. I'll start by loading the form validation library. So this load library with the name form underscore validation. Next, I'll call a method called set rules. Set rules takes an array of arrays that contain three key value pairs. The field, which is the form field name, a label, which is a human readable label that will be shown on failures, and rules, a string containing the names of form validation callback functions. There's a complete list of validators that ship with CodeIgniter at the following URL. For the time being, we'll start slow and build up. This form validation set underscore rules then we'll pass an array. The first array will be for publication ID. Array, field, publication ID, and then the label will just be publication. The publication will be required. Fortunately, there's a validator callback named required, which will just check to see if content has been set. So, rules, required. That was pretty straightforward. I'll add a validator for the issue number as well. Array, field, issue underscore number, label, issue number. This time for the rules, I'm going to chain two validators together using another validator that ships with CodeIgniter that checks if input is numeric. To specify multiple validators, separate it with a pipe character. So required, and then a pipe, and then is underscore numeric. Finally, the publication date. Array, field, issue, date, publication. The label is publication date. Now, there are no date validators that ship with CodeIgniter, so I'll use a custom callback. To do that, we'll start with rules, the publication date is required, but for the custom callback, I'll need to start the method name with callback underscore followed by the name of the actual method, which I'll call date validation. The callback is a method in the current controller, which I'll create in a moment. By default, the error messages are wrapped in a paragraph tag. Let's spruce things up a little bit by setting the error message delimiters. The method takes two arguments, the opening and the closing delimiter. This form validation set error delimiters have an opening div with a class of alert and alert dash error, then followed by a closing div. Finally, I'll execute the form validator using the method run. This form validation run. It returns a boolean, true or false, so I can use it within an if statement. So we'll start off, if the form does not validate, we'll show the regular form, else the form did validate this load view magazine form success. Now that we've completed the logic so far, let's create a callback function to validate the date. Within the controller, create a new public function called date validation that takes a string input, add a little bit of documentation. This is a date validation callback, it takes a string and it returns a Boolean value. Yeah. True if it passes, fault if it fails. I'm going to use the PHP function check date for validation. To do that, I'll explode the input on dash. So test date equals explode dash, then input. So if, then not, and I'm going to suppress errors and warnings from check date, 
test date one, test date two, and then test date zero. So if it fails that check, I'm going to use one of the methods in form validation known as set message. So this form validation set message, which takes two arguments. The first is a string containing the field name, which in this case is date validation, followed by a string containing the message itself. The, and I can use a percent %s that will be replaced with a human readable label set earlier. So the percent %s field must be in year, month, day format. Since it failed, return boolean false. Otherwise it succeeded, so return true. Save the controller, then switch to the browser. For the issue number, type A, which won't validate, and click save. There's no message because the form validation method doesn't produce any automatic output, which gives developer control over how the application performs. Go back to the IDE and open the magazine form view. At the very top, above the form itself, I'm going to echo a function provided by the validation library that will render the errors. Validation errors. Save, then return to the browser and try failing validation again. This time, I see the error messages I was expecting. Let's try to pass validation. So issue number three, and it was published on 2013, March 1st. Click Save. Magazine created. Success. Except it didn't actually create it because one more piece is needed. Persistence.